So you've decided that you wanna level up your videos with some cool grading techniques. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you five masking ideas to turn your videos pro in just a few minutes. Hey creators, Eamon here, and this is where I help creators go full time, and I speak a little bit about DaVinci Resolve on this channel as well. Let's jump straight into this project file. So this is a high-end multi-million dollar real estate shoot that I've just done this week. It was a banger. Had some nice speed ramps in there. Got some boomsies going. Oh, it's gonna it's gonna lag because we got uh, got quick time up as well. But anyway, let's jump straight into it. So we're going into our color grade. Now this is obviously the full node structure. We're not gonna worry about exactly what that is. If you wanna know more about this node structure, you can click the link in, my, in the description. Uh, but the first one is darken the outside rather than brightening the inside. So we can see here, this is kind of what the what the home looks like roughly, right? So we do have a mask on the on the front there, but a lot of people, they just use this mask, right? Just to brighten up. We can see down here, I'm just pulling the gamma up by three not going overkill with it. Uh, a lot of people, they just do, they just brighten up something with a mask. But obviously this is a vignette, and what we're doing is we're combining both of those. We're darkening uh, the sides, so and you can see the effect that that has on the sky there as well, which is crazy. So it really just brings your eye to the home, especially when it comes from uh, the last shot. So you can see we've done it on this shot here. So here's one, and then it transitions into this shot. And again, we've got it going on here where we're darkening the edges, brightening the home as well. Uh, so we've got a couple of different mask techniques going on, but back on this one, this is the shot. We do the transition, which again, it won't load, so I won't show it to you. And then this is the second shot. We could go harder with it if we wanted, really. We could go way harder with it. You can see we're just pulling the gamma down. You can pull these shadows down, pull it right down. Now I've gone a little bit lazy here with the uh, with the vignette, like in terms of just using the uh, the circle one. What you can do, obviously, is uh, actually do the outline. Doesn't actually take that much longer. Don't know why I didn't do it. I'm lazy, right? We want to uh, swap that over, invert that that boy, right? So holy, holy, it's looking crazy, right? So obviously, it's a bit too much now. I think because we're taking those shadows down by a hundred, so we're just increasing the softness, increasing the outside, and then you know. So again, we'll turn that off, turn that on. And obviously what we'll do is just jump into the tracking window, track that guy forwards and backwards, my dude. And you'd have to use this on real estate. You can use this on anything, right? But again, it's just like, how long did that take me and how much more pro does that look? It looks insane. And like maybe a videographer would be able to tell that that's what's, uh, that's what's happening here. But a lot of people, it's just for the general public and that just really makes this pop like crazy. So that's number one. Number two is mask the sky and pull down the highlights and saturation. So we've got the sky grade node over here. You can see this is what it's looking like. It's looking pretty good. Got the sky grade node on. We go over to our little red dot guy over here, a window. So this is a gradient. Just adjust the size. I've got it on five softness, right? And we're looking over here, we've pulled the saturation up to 70 and the highlights down to 75, next 75. We can push it up a higher. You can see the image starts to break apart there a little bit. We don't really want that. Um, obviously when I exported this as well, I had the, uh, had the noise reduction on. You can see that makes a bit of a difference as well. Um, and in the final video, it really just comes together. Now it depends because I'm using black magic footage here. If you're using a seven S three footage or another mirrorless camera, the, the, uh, the footage might break apart a little bit easier and color grading. One hot tip is all about pushing and pulling, right? So, you know, you got to push and pull until you find the right right balance, but you don't really want it to be breaking apart. I like to get it to where it's almost breaking apart. So that's the second one. The third one, which we kind of discussed before there, uh, is using two masks instead of one. So yeah, this is one to brighten. Obviously, we've got this here. Um, and again, just looking over here, I've only got it on plus three on the gamma. You can bring the shadows up as well if you want, for example. And another hot tip, while I've got you here, this window here, let's say, you know, we're looking at this image. You know, this is it with nothing. This is it with the grade. Looking at this image, we're like, it looks nice, dude, but you know what? The house is a little bit yellow. Could we bring the temp down in our correct one? For sure. But then it's like, mm, you know, so we could uh, really dive into all the, the mids, lows, and highs in the, in, the, uh, in the color there. But what you could do is just jump over to the curves here, move over to Hue versus Sat. Look, I've already got it going on here. So this is what the, the video looks like already. So I've actually just, uh, let's just reset that guy. Just click on the reds, and I've just decided to bring down some of the yellows. Now obviously we're going extra there. 
And again, obviously, this this node, uh, this mart window, is the way it is. Like I could have masked around the home, like I showed you before. Uh, and now obviously, that yellow is way too hard. But like what I did was like, oh, you know what? I like the uh, the color temp of this particular image because of how it's sitting across the sky. But the yellow on the building is a little bit intense, so I had it pulled down to there. So that's something else you can do within another window, right? So again, back to the main point of this is that we've got, we're combining this one with this one. So this is the original image, pretty good uh, exposure, blah, blah. So we've added that mask in. Now the yellows are a bit too much maybe, and that's just brightening it up. And then we've got another vignette that's darkening it, right? So it's just another mask doing the same thing. And again, you can jump in here, the track window, just track that bad boy. And amazing, you just gotta, like it just really adds another layer of depth. And as you can see, I've got this sky grade on the top here as well. Anyway, just giving away all my secrets. Goddamn, shouldn't be doing that. All right, tip number four for masking, track mask mid detail or anything. What does that mean, Eamon? Um, okay, so we've got uh, another node here with a window. Again, a lot of people use masks just to brighten or darken, right? I like to use a mask to bring somebody's eye to something in particular. So obviously we have our window here as well. Now these all of these nodes, they are in their own, I forget what this is called. What's this one called? Uh, parallel mixer. So they're not affecting the image after each node. These ones are, but then these ones are all affecting the image individually, and then they combine into these last few, right? So yeah, we've got a window um, over the top of it. That's just adding some, sat some, some sa what? I'm have I having a seizure, some shadows, some gamma. It's been a long morning. And we've got the mid detail. Come on, don't crash on me now. Don't crash on me now. Okay, sweet. Mid detail, we can see we've got it on 80. Now, I love mid detail. I'm obsessed with mid detail. Again, if you buy my DaVinci Resolve course, you'll see how much I use it. Again, you can track this if you want. It's a short shot, so I decided not to track it. But just look at that without it. First of all, I've got some mid detail on here already. Again, it's all about pushing and pulling. So uh, with the black magic, I've got the sharpness all the way down. Now bring it in, pull the sharpness up and add mid detail on just the home. It really just brings your eye to that portion of it. Now, again, if I have like a tight shot, for example, over here, we've got mid, mid detail on it. Tight shot of the home right there in the middle, mid detail on it. Tight shot of this little horsey, mid detail on it. So the mid detail mask for just to bring your eye to something, game changer. And again, if you're a media company in Brisbane, you're watching my secrets, please don't, please don't. This is meant for everyone but you, okay? All right, last one, drop a mask mid-detail. All right, well, that's fantastic as well. Um, Here we are. Let's just find ourselves a shot to muck around with this on. For example, maybe one of these guys. This is a nice little rampy sequence. Just find one of these shots. Yeah, like that'll do, for example. Bring that up here. So, all right, so this is where, you know, we would go Command S or whatever you have your thing set up as. And we're gonna just click the qualifier, the dropper. We're gonna click the trees and this top left button to just make sure we're only highlighting what we wanna see. Obviously you can adjust this to taste. You kind of wanna like, you know, even that's kind of fine because of the effect that it's gonna give you. We just need to add the softness, which is here-ish. Just make, make it nice and soft so it's, uh, it's not too harsh. And again, obviously, you can, you can use the feather, figure out exactly what you want to be using this on. I'll just go back though. And then on this node, this is where you bring up the mid detail again. So let's turn this guy off so we can see what that's affecting. Bring it all the way up just for lols. So off and on. Now that makes a minor difference. This is uh, much more impressive when you just select the qualifier correctly. Uh, now usually, so, hit you know to add two nodes into one for example say we don't we just added a window here and uh, again we'll look at this so we're saying all right we want to affect just the trees and not underneath so again we just we just got to get this this part right really which uh don't really have the patience for in this particular tutorial uh but really again if you if you're looking at out the back at this big nature shot um you can just make sure you're actually selecting the trees or something like that and it's really just going to make those trees pop. Um, so I think it does make a little bit of a difference, but uh, it's just hard to see in this particular shot. But that's a banger one, and it comes in handy. 
especially on drone shots, actually. So they are five masking ideas that will turn your video into pro from being a noob uh, that I've learned. And hopefully you've gotten some value out of this. And yeah, if, again, if you want if you want access to this uh, node structure that I've built over four years, then feel free to click that link in the description. It's all in there and it's cheap as hell. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.